Thanks a lot for coming in, Gunay. Let's look at this first of all from the international perspective. Possibly, maybe the most important thing for the international community is how Turkey might now be affected in terms of its um, treatment of what's happening in Syria, because Erdogan is undoubtedly an important player in the fight against Assad. Exactly. We can safely assume uh, that uh, the government will be under, uh, and Erdogan himself will be under more pressure uh, from uh, the parliamentary opposition on its policies, on his policies towards uh, Syria. For example, the Kurdish party, uh, Kurdish Turkish opposition party, getting into uh, parliament would uh, put more pressure on Erdogan in, 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 on his policies regarding Islamist militants, because some Kurds in Turkey perceive that uh, Turkey is happy to see Islamist militants, including IS, fighting against Kurds in Syria. And they want Turkey to extend some support uh, for Kurds and clamp down on uh, IS. We, we might see uh, more pressure mounting uh, on this. And also, Turkey has been through an uh, election cycle in the last one and a half years, and Turkish foreign policy most, uh, most of the time has been hijacked by the domestic agenda. So when, for example, President Erdogan talks about Egypt and Muslim Brotherhood, he also talks about what's happening in Turkey and uh, draws parallels between them. Now, there won't be, uh, if uh, the, the election, this government uh, ruling party can manage to form a government, there won't be any elections in the uh, next four years. So government will be freer from uh, public uh, domestic pressure. That's only if they can manage to form a coalition uh, government. Just confirm one thing for me, though. The second largest party in parliament is actually not as anti-Assad as Erdogan. Is that correct? The, the Kurds may be, but that second party. That, that's correct. Uh, and uh, they uh, criticize Erdogan, actually, mostly for following your sectarian. Uh, policies. Uh, th this is how they perceive. They, they think Erdogan is playing uh, to, to become the leader of Sunnis and using a, a Sunni uh, discourse in, in the region. And uh, Kurds as well are criticizing Erdogan on this. So there will be the different pressures from the two different sides. Domestically, how easy do you think he's going to find it to form a coalition? Is he the kind of man who could even work in a coalition? Well, Erdogan is, a, is president, and according to the constitution, he's above the uh, politics. But his, yeah. the, party he's, <laughs> his party, the party he's founded is, uh, I mean, the main opposition party has already ruled out any coalition with the uh, with AK Party. And Kurds, uh, the Kurdish-Turkish opposition party, has ruled out coalition as well. There are only four parties in the parliament, and the only party, the only possibility is with uh, ultra-nationalists Nationalist Action Party. And the, the yesterday, the leader of uh, MHP, the Nationalist Party, came out and uh, he didn't sound uh, very keen to form a coalition government with the, uh, with the AK Party, but they, they, he hinted that if uh, Erdogan uh, drops his uh, negotiations with the PKK, uh, mm -hmm. which is a Kurdish rebel mm -hmm. group, which Erdogan is, uh, Erdogan's government is uh, engaging in uh, peace talks, uh, then there might be a possibility of a uh, coalition. Yeah, interesting you said he's supposed to be about politics. Gunay, thank you very much indeed.